chapter starting at the 22nd verse. Hebrews, the ninth chapter, start at the 22nd verse. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without shedding of the blood, there is no remission. I'm going to stop right there and use for a topic forgiveness of our sins. Yeah. Forgiveness of our sins. Now, if we look here in this verse, this verse concludes two things in the 22nd verse. The law seems to require that everything be purged with blood. And there is no remission, forgiveness without the shedding of the blood. Now, we look in the Old Testament, their sacrifices were the blood of animals for forgiveness of their sins. But in the New Testament, Jesus shed his blood for the remission, which means forgiveness of our sins. Yes. If there was no blood shed in either the Old or New Testament, we would still be in a fallen state because of our sins. Yes. The blood of animals cannot cover the sins of people forever. Uh -huh. So they continue to offer animal sacrifices for remission of their sins. Yes. Yes. Jesus came and shed his blood once, and that was it. It was Jesus' blood that completely covered our sins, present, past, and future. Without Jesus' blood, there would not have been any remission. Every day we hear of a shooting or someone being stabbed. It is time people wake up and realize that God does not require the shedding of blood in order for him to forgive us for our sins. Some may think that it is because we made the same mistake over or because our sin is too serious that we cannot be forgiven. But no matter how many times you have sinned, you can repent and be forgiven. Because Jesus shed his blood for the remission of our sin. I stop by to tell you that God, I mean, Jesus shed his blood for forgiveness of our sins. If there was no blood or if there was no law, blood for the blood of sin, then there would not have been any remission. Because in the text he said that everything, he didn't say something, he said everything must be purged with blood. So here he was telling us that he was covering us in the blood of Jesus. Jesus will take the weight when we are repent. We are turning to Jesus for help and forgiveness. Yeah. If you turn to him, Jesus can heal your heart and help you forgive yourself and others. Yeah. As believers, 1 John 1 and 9 tells us that we must confess our sins. Uh -huh. He is faithful and just and he will forgive the unclean from us and all righteousness. Yeah. Jesus and God can't forgive us for our sins. He didn't have to shed his blood, but he shed his blood so we can have the right to the tree of life. He did it for the forgiveness of our sins. On the cross, he said, Father, if it be thy will, let this bitter cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not my will be done, but his will be done. See, Jesus did not endure the cross because it was his father's will and he came to do the will of his father. See, see, Jesus knew that it was not his will, that it was his father's will. For this he suffered the pain and the shame without complaining, but yet we find ourselves constantly complaining. Yeah. Holding burdens against our brothers and our sisters and not speaking to one another. Yeah. But God will forgive us for all of our sins. Jesus died for us, but we're still falling in sin. All we have to do is get on our knees and repent to God and ask Him to forgive us for all of our sins. Thank you, Lord. All we must do is thank God for covering our sins and repent of them and turn away. And God will forgive you. We always must remember that this is the grace of God. We need the forgiveness of God because we are sinners. But He has given us the grace. We sinned, disobeyed him, but still he is the one who found us. And remember that God saved us from all of our sins. Yeah. But because he loved us so much, he put us under his grace and shed his own blood for forgiveness of our sins. Yeah. As 
Hallelujah. I want to tell you that he died for your sins. He didn't have to do it, but he wanted to us to have a right to the tree of life. I thought I'd tell you, hallelujah, that God did it out of love. He didn't have to do it, but he loved us so much that he did it out of love. I want to tell you what happened one Friday evening. They put my rock up, put a cross up on his shoulder. Y'all know what happened? Uh, they marched him uh, up. God, God was here. Yeah. They nailed a nail in his hand. Yeah. They nailed a nail in his feet. Yeah. They squeezed him uh, in the side. Yeah. They tell me that blood.